And the answer is this. When you get out your new calendar and you paste it on the wall and it says 2013, you're looking at it in 3D. If you could see the colors around it, it's a beginning of time. I'm going to default to something very 3D right now. That's where we Favorite are. Favorite tune of my partner. 3D reality. He knows what it is. Is the score. It's called. It's time to say goodbye. Where a beautiful are we going? ballad sung by a man and a woman about the love they have for one another. The lyrics, it's time to say goodbye. Okay. And the first time you hear it, you're struck with what? Why would they be saying goodbye? Why would these two who love each other so much ever say goodbye? And it's such a sad song. <laughs> until you look at the intent of the composer, until you find out what was meant by the tune, and then you find it. But the composer will tell you, ah, it's time to say goodbye, not to one another, but to being alone. And your heart resounds with love. I hear you. For it's a song about unification. We're together. Of being here. together for the rest of your life with one you adore. That's We're very different, isn't it? And so in 3D, you read the energy of the score. Mayan calendar and you say it's the end of all things. And you read doom. Okay. And you close the door. Where are we buying? And you expect bad things. And part of humanity right now is is preparing for the end. But you didn't get it. <laughs> Here's how it goes. Should you make it to this place, and there was a time when that was questionable, should you make it to this place, and you have, it's time to say goodbye to everything you think is the way things work. How does it work? There's a unification coming. You know how it works. A humanity works. of hearts. And it may take generations, dear ones, but you got 18 years to plant the seeds, and You're that was listening. my message last time. I'm doing my part. I'm 1987 running was before the 18 years. 1994 is when it began. What are we selling? Between 1987 and 1994, I came to see my partner in 89. It took him those years to settle. He calls it the honeymoon period of crime. Tell me about I it. I call it grueling. <laughs> He's a stubborn man. Are we there yet? I convinced him. It was all right to love me. The real information began. Because you can see the difference between the first book, written in 93, and the second one written in 94. The first one was cryptic, whole. It told the story. But in 94, he was in love with God. That's the pipe. And then things began to happen. Come on in. But in that period, something else had started. Cross the bridge. You started down. to see things around you change. And those Just who are here don't know of what I speak. Geopolitical systems of the planet turned around. You started to see the fall of the Soviet Union, who was the nemesis of the United States. And the two of them would have brought you to a conclusion of nuclear war by the millennium. They almost did it in the 60s. <laughs> it all went away. The prophecies of Revelation had you at war. The prophecies of Nostradamus had you at war. And it didn't happen. What happened, dear ones, when the prophecies of old fall on the floor in front of you? Because it isn't real anymore. What happens? And I'll tell you. The 
you got to rewrite it. And we're that's creating doing that. future we want here. I came Tell in to see my partner in 89, and I told him the consciousness reality. of the planet would begin to shift. By 1994, the precession of the equinoxes had started. Workers. The indigenous of the planet felt it coming. For over a thousand years, they had predicted it as a decision point of humanity. And the Mayan calendar end count was the place where it may occur. And it is. Workless consciousness. And these are the things we speak of. No. The prophecy of the eagle and the condor is simply the prophecy of a balancing planet. Balancing in a way that will create a softer consciousness that thinks better. It thinks in survival with honor and with love. It thinks differently for it. It starts to realize that unification instead of separation is the answer. It starts to try the hardest things that humanity okay. has ever tried. <clears throat> putting unequal economies together. Changing the very essence of the way countries work. Rewriting banking systems. Thinking out of the boxes that were always there before. Changing the way government works, allying trade so that you don't necessarily have it all one-sided, and the only side that counts is Earth. I understand so it. One benefits you all do. It starts conceptual thinking, where it's I not only you. the individual, it's the individual and everything around the individual. The concept of peace being something that is not only desirable, okay. but the only thing that's civilized. That's the change. Okay. And you started to see many things start to move. Now, Gina. You came to the millennium shift and nothing happened. Did you I'm notice? Listening. And there I'm were those learning. then heading for the hills, building the shelters, arming themselves against their neighbors. Okay. Some were expecting the earth to turn upside down for the poles to shift. You know that won't happen, don't you? Ever. For everything on the planet would be dead if it did. <coughs> All the magnetics <coughs> have shifted many times, but. <laughs> oh, come on in. There are so many who wish to believe the horror, the drama. It's time to say goodbye. Believe what you want. And they do Always allowed. And the ones in the room and the ones listening to my voice are starting to understand. I'm beginning to understand. There is a process beginning. A turnaround. It is what am I doing? Slow. And some of it is ugly. It's already ugly. For things don't happen in a day. Is that stupid These kinds or what? of energies, we say you mush into them. That is to say, it takes years to set sure the stage. Be. Sometimes you go backwards a little That's bit and important. then forwards. It takes generations of thought and evolution of human consciousness to create the final result. Are we high enough? And you're only at the beginning of it. And you're going to see a lot of old energy. Higher. New energy clashing. Breathe. And you won't even recognize what it is. Why do we... What is it? It's just the current events, dear ones. Okay. What are you seeing right now as we sit? Why do we... You're seeing war. You're seeing issues in the Middle East, yet again. And there are those who would say, well, this is the beginning. Where are we now? The end. Right on schedule. <laughs> I'm over Instead here, dog. understanding what you truly are looking at. 
Okay. What's going on in Egypt right now? You thought that was settled, didn't you? Wide awake. And it isn't. What's Why are that? the people reacting the way they are to the new okay. leader? And the answer is because the new leader What's has that? shown himself to be part of the old energy they wanted removed. Okay. And they're letting him know. Why did they do this in the first part? What, what is the reason for such a stable country that you could visit, where tourism is everything, to go into a state of revolt against itself the year before 2012? What is the reason? And I will tell you, dear ones, this is what we're talking about is that the old energy, as good as you think it was, as long as it lasted, was not going to work anymore. Well, the old way didn't you see it work. Here. You see it in the We're banking, you see it in the system, you see it in your government. There is objection to the old energy. What's that? And if you think it's going to simply repeat itself, you're going to stand up and object. And the Egyptians That's object. Right. They object. And now they're objecting again. Because they want control. <coughs> they want what you have. And I've said this before. Here's they want better man. schools and better hospitals. They want futures for their kids that's different than it used to be. And it's time. Energize. And isn't it interesting that it coordinates Breathe. with its time to say goodbye. Syria is a nightmare. You don't want to be there. Well, it's everything that you don't want on the earth right now. This is history. Manifested where you can look at it. How do you like it? And you can see it every night on your news. How do you like it? And you don't. And the mothers over there who are watching their children die don't either. I mean, your family's torn apart, hiding, hoping not to get bombed, never thinking it would happen there. And they need your energy and their love. They need you okay. in this holiday season to give them a gift of your attention. And what is it about? Listening. A country seemingly to have an iron control over its people and always had suddenly erupts. Knowing very well who has and holds the cards, knowing very well who has the big weaponry, and they do it anyway. Why do I? Time to say goodbye to the old energy. That's what they're doing. You saw it in Libya? It was a surprise. Isn't it interesting? All erupting together. <laughs> All happening the, the year before. So? The 2012 shift. When are you listening? Dear ones, you are I'm watching here what we told you would happen. We told you there'd be small wars about now. Now what? Uh, and there are. It's the end of July here. You've got 18 years to turn this around, and we say you will, for the potentials are strong. But all of those countries that you're looking at right now with those issues will solve them. And it's not going to last like it is now. The next one to watch is Iran, and we're telling you yet again. Everything seems quiet, doesn't it? Everything's all fine, isn't it? Well, it isn't. What's happening now? You're going to see why. When the people decide they don't want to be the pariah of Earth. <laughs> when the young people say enough is enough. And it may not be this year or next or even the next. And that depends on the old souls on the planet and what they okay. do next. 
You're one, and we need to have you start mining your caution, that is to say, to live longer. We're getting younger, though. To pull on those energies of your past you life see. that will make the healings in your body both psychological and physical. That you will know give how you to a longer lifespan right now. We're doing it. So that you wake up every morning peaceful. Even if you don't know how you're going to pay your bills tomorrow. Feel it. But the thing you have today is what those in the desert had as Israelis and Israelites. You understand that? Knowledge that every day they were going to be taken care of. Every day. We're taken care Just of here. That day. Oh, we've told you that so many times that you're starting to understand. It's business. What you have right now, dear ones, is enough. Every single day to know that you're going to live peacefully, healthy, aging less, and that whatever the problems of 3D are we're there, doing it. you're going to be able to walk through them in a way you haven't so far. You see, it's time to say goodbye. Okay. It's time to say goodbye to the old energy. It's time to say goodbye to loneliness because you don't have the hand of God. You understand? It's time to start the love affair with your higher self. This is history. And when you do that, you'll never ask about the process because you will be the process. I understand. This is we need a long process. time on this channel. 23 We're years. Streaming. To sit in a place where we can say you did it. Don't watch the news in the same way you have. Don't see the depression We're creating a new news. of others as the way things are. Or the sorrow that is going to be Check shown to you as the old energy fights and fights and fights to stay alive. We know where we are. That's the way it is. It's not the way it is. Oregon Coast. This battle that is before you may actually get worse before it gets better. Where is that? Because you're about ready to you change know, the whole paradigm. North Oregon. And it's not going to happen in a year or two or even four or eight. Well? It may very well be generationally. Oh, there are those in the room who say, oh, I'm going to miss it. I'm too old. It's not going to happen in my lifetime. Wait a minute. We're getting younger, I'm sorry darling. For you, that you won't be a certain age to see it, but you'll be here if that's okay with you. You're not going to miss anything, old soul. You're the ones who make it work. The cycle of life is the cycle of life. And you're, be, you're coming right back. You know that, don't you? Even if you say right now, oh, it's a little difficult, I don't think I'll do that. I've had enough. This is the last time. <laughs> no, it isn't. No, it isn't. You What's said that funny? last time. No, it isn't. Only the next time you'll be born into a new energy. You're going to have an intuition flash. You're going to remember everything. I promise. I remember everything. You're not going to have to go through the things you did this time. You're not going to have to relearn any of it. It's going to be your second nature. It's going to be intuitive. I've told you that, too. I know how it works. It's magnetic. And as soon as you're able to talk, you're going to tell your parents who you are. I'm back, they'll say. <laughs> it's okay. Be that clear. I remember. I know where we are, Gina. A lifetime of understanding. We're invisible. But some of you have taken a half a lifetime to find out. And that's the promise we Now have. what? The consciousness will be that different. Higher. Even a few decades from now, it's going to be different. Okay. I'll give you my favorite phrase before I close. The 
come a time wide awake when you will look back at an old energy before 2012 and you're going to see the marker that was passed and understand that something profound happened and you will look at everything from 2012 back as being a marker of time and it's time to say goodbye to barbaric ways goodbye and you wonder how could we have done that you'll redefine human nature now what uh and you'll realize I'm ready. at some time in the future. Are happening. you ready, Darla? I've waited a long time to give that message. Don't look at the news the same Focus. way. What's going on right now is a planet fail, flailing, flailing against change. And populations all over the planet are standing up and saying, it's time to say goodbye. Okay. To what used to be. All together now. And start the love affair to what will. Adios. Some of you won't believe me until you see it for yourself. It was in the I 80s. See it now. At Christmas time. And my partner got chills when he stood in front of his television set. And two leaders of profoundly powerful countries were coming together. And they'd made a decision to stop the foolishness. Okay. Stop the United it. States and Russia. We're going into a new age called perestroika. The first disarmament was being talked about. The end of the Cold War was beginning. Those two men were singing a song. It's time to say goodbye. My partner stood in disbelief, for that wasn't a prophecy. And he knew it was the beginning of something new. Well... What's You're next? going to see these kinds of things, dear ones. You're going I to see. I know you. Soon. You know me. And some of you won't even believe it. Former enemies. This it's hard to believe, but it's wits. true. And singing the song. It's time to say goodbye. How old am I now? If you've never heard the song, you should hear it. My partner says. And if you've heard it now, you know what it really means. This is how old I am. It's time to say goodbye to the old ways of loneliness, despair, Getting younger, sorrow, and war. This is okay. the market, and you've made it. Now the end, next 18 years, survive it, understand it. Be peaceful with change. And send energy when it's needed. I'm cryon. I would not tell you these things if they were not so. And so it is. Before war, he said, well, that little mouse may have something that the people need right now. So what are you willing to do to pivot from where you are right now into where you are choosing to be? So every shot is a ring. And if it's not... You go right on. That is the key. Me too. You know what they say, when you fall off the bicycle, get up and get back on? 
It is true. Dearest beings of light, we are your cheerleader. We see you and your pure potentiality. The galactics also see you and your potentiality, which is why they are paying attention, which is a good thing. For you each have things you can teach each other. You can teach them, and they can teach you. It's coming in through those star seeds, huh? I'm doing my part. Bring it. You know what I'm doing. I'm listening. You are who you are designed to be. You are your own destiny. There is no one else on this planet like you. There is no one else in all the galaxies like you. So that uniqueness that is you so? is your own creation. You have the power, you have the presence, and you're in the process of getting the purpose. Oh, those peas, we love them. As we love you. Deeply, wholly, and completely just as you are. I bid you namaste. 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 Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Okay. This is going to be message number three of four regarding joy. And we've titled the series Finding Joy in the Midst of Chaos. And in channel number one, we identified the healing properties of joy, real healing properties, changing the chemistry of the human being. We're changing the chemistry. We talked about the times right now with COVID. We talked about worry you and anxiousness actually perhaps okay. causing more sickness even than the virus has. Because of the uncertainty of the times and today is no different than yesterday. Wide awake. In the second channel, we discussed Breathe. ways of finding joy personally. And some of the attributes Focus. that we mentioned so that you could find peace in times where there doesn't seem to be much. Wide awake. It's still so important, dear ones, that you en enjoy where are we going? these attributes as well as seeing them as, as academic because joy is this way. It's not simply an emotion. It can be a state of mind. What if it was a rule of physics? In a certain way, perhaps it is. In an esoteric way. We gave you some of the elements earlier on. A few weeks ago, we've talked about it so many ways and so many times. This third message is one that talks about you with others. We have spoken so many times about the beauty of what the old soul is here for. And I say the beauty because it makes you smile to think that perhaps the job, if you want to say that, of the old soul is spreading peace, joy, facilitating the energy around them and their family, and showing what mastery might be like. And so this particular channel is a couple of the attributes that you might use around others, or perhaps some admonitions that you know about, but that are difficult. I hear you. Again, it has to do with joy, with laughter, with the peace of mind, 
So we're going to assume that perhaps you've listened to number one and number two, and you are then ready for three. If you don't know where one and two are, they're easy to find. My partner Here, uh, says it many times. They're all in one go. place. Oops. On what you would call his website. Let's talk about number one. Negativity is a habit. Now, this is taught by so many. The teacher, Marilyn, through Adiranda, will teach this. She even has methods of reminding us when we are in the habit. And here's what I mean. Culturally, you are used to certain phrases, certain ways of doing things, certain attitudes. Culturally, you want to fit in. And so, so often, habitually, you're negative and you don't even know it. If you're going to help others around you, it's not going to be done with you being negative. And you will say, well, I'm not negative. I am a positive person. And I will say, perhaps you're a positive person with bad habits. And you will say, well, well what do you mean by that? It's not a negative thing that you have a consciousness for as much as what comes out of your mouth automatically. Wait a minute. Something happens in your life or a situation happens and you see and immediately you say, I knew that would happen. <laughs> what has just occurred? Stop everything. What has just occurred is you told your body, your cells, the universe, anyone who is listening, all the guides, your soul, that you expected negativity. That's a habit. Now, whether you did or not, it was a habit. Drop it. And so those around you hear that. If there are other humans or family or children, for instance, okay. studying the persona of their parents, you let things slip out. Okay. It might be negative. And in that, you don't mean to. So the first attribute Why is listen to yourself talk. Listen to what you say during certain right. situations and be aware that so much of it is cultural because the culture you live in, dear ones, is negative if you didn't already know. Watch your mass media and see what they do in order to make you watch. Is it positive and uplifting and fun? And the answer is no. The more horror they can give you, the more people watch. You are in a negative culture and you have the habits of your culture. That's number one. Number two, it's an what actionable way? item. That means it involves work. <coughs> when you are around others, their friends, their family, their associates, whatever, Try your best to negate negativity without confrontation. Now, this is critical. Don't make anyone wrong by what you say. Instead, show by testifying how you are the difference. For instance, this is a tough one. I'm using. This is how I do it. You say... It's a great day today. And the associate Hi. or your partner or your family member says, not for me it isn't. And you say, well, maybe that will change. And the answer, the, the answer will be, not today it won't. What you start to see is negativity, and you cannot believe it when you start realizing how okay. much there is from those around you who don't seem to want to say anything positive about What's anyone, that? including themselves. Come on in. Well, you say, you look nice today. And they'll say, well, that's right now. You should have seen me yesterday. In other words, there is no agreement Wait at all. It doesn't seem you can even get to what they call first base <laughs> with any of that which you say. And yet, I will tell you, you are making a difference. Those who watch this process will see it. You will be known as a positive person. What comes out of your mouth or what you say without any confrontation, without you saying, 
Why are you always negative? Don't ever do that. Instead, what you do is try to turn things Three, around to the most positive place, even five, for those five. who don't seem to appreciate it or want it. Okay. And I'll tell you why. Because between the two consciousnesses, the one that is most attractive, the one that makes the most sense, the one that people want to look at, is you. How do you feel? about being around someone who's always negative? And the answer is, it's not fun. It's not exciting for you, it's work. And so slowly you start to see <coughs> that if you cannot change them, at least you have put that which is positive in front of them with choice. Others around you may see what is going on and actually change what they say or how they think. Well, he or she is right. This is a good time, perhaps to consolidate our thoughts in positive things, to make some changes, because we can't go out or we can't do the thing, so what else can we do which is fun and happy Wait and exciting? Let's do it together. That happens, and it might not have happened if you hadn't been positive in front of your friends. Never confront, but instead What's show that? them that which is good. Number three, the most difficult one. You haven't heard me say this that often. There are human beings who literally are invested in being negative. All of their lives, that is all they have been or seen, and their personality is one which is negative. You can tell. You can tell. Because your happiness irritates them. Your happiness irritates them. Your positive thoughts, your wishing to turn things around. It's not anything they're considering. They're looking at you and saying, go away, kid. You bother me. They are invested in negativity and will not change. There are those, and you know I'm right. What do you do with those? And the answer is... Don't be with them. I'm right here. And you, I say, well, that's tough. They're my family. All aboard. I am talking to a group of people right now, old souls, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because sometimes you've removed yourself from your family. I know who's listening. The most difficult thing you can do is go back for a holiday, what kind of and watch all the negativity fly around the table, and they don't even know it. Okay. You irritate them with what you have to say about the hope for the planet. Right you irritate them. 